I mean, you know, the thing is, it's not really his fault. It's not really his fault. Uh, you see, the government came for him. That's that's what happened to Nick. The government came for him. Yeah, well, I mean, have you seen what he's been putting online? Uh, that's true. That's true. It's nothing but, like, horrible smut. Horrible, horrible, disgusting smut. It's terrible. Oh, shit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Midweek Saints. Um, today is going to be a little bit different than usual. Uh, the reason being is... Uh, Nick is uh, is currently fleeing the country uh, because the government was coming after him. This is this is one hundred percent true and not a bit. No, of course not. Why would it be a bit? That's right. And so this. I mean, why is, would I be here if it were a bit? That's right. One hundred percent. This is my buddy Ian, one of my best friends. How's it going, internet people? Uh, sh we we've known each other for nineteen years. Close enough. Close enough. Almost twenty or so. Um, is that the king or is that the singer from SOAD? What's SOAD? System of a Down. System I've of actually a Down. heard that a couple of times. His beard is a little shorter. His uh, Serge's beard only goes down to back here anymore. Yeah. I actually just saw him in October. Get on, get on his level, Serge. I mean, <laughs> Serge, Serge is actually a really big fan of the show. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how I I know his beard's shorter. He might, he's probably watching the show right now. Actually. Hi, Serge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good to see some of the usual crowd. What's going on, guys? Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling loose. It's the eve before Turkey Day. Um, for us Americans, that's a big deal uh, because we are a culture of gluttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, there's there's nothing more important than than choking down uh, shit tons of turkey, getting wasted, and trying not to talk to your family members. Um, maybe mass consumerism comes in a close second. Mass consumer? That's true. Okay, Ma yeah. All right. Uh, see, okay. Have you ever done this with um, with Black Friday? You ever pack a bag lunch? And <laughs> just go watch. Yeah, like go to the mall and just watch people go ape shit. <laughs> uh, it's it's a thing that's been on my list to do, but I've never actually been able to shoehorn it in between oh. going to the mall and all my doorbusters that I got to get in on because you know I need that next you know extra three inch larger TV. That's right. That's right. Uh, but you I know. mean, <clears throat> one of these days, one of these days, it'll definitely be something I do once I have everything I need and don't need to buy things anymore. That's right. Well, I mean, like I need to get a bigger TV just to compete with fucking Karen. Fucking Karen. Fuck Karen. Fuck Karen. Three doors down. Fuck you, Karen. <laughs> be like, oh, check out my brand new you know, TV. It, it's it, an OLED. What the fuck is it, OLED? It wouldn't be so bad if she didn't mount it opposite her front window and leave the curtains open all oh, the time. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I think she does it just to point it right at your house. She's flexing. Yeah. Fucking Karen. I swear to God. I hate Karen. Anyway, uh, so, donde es la Count Angela? I uh, no sé. Um, <laughs> we, me and Nick are, however, talking about possibly doing a brief show tomorrow uh, just to celebrate with you guys uh, more traditionally because we, we did that last year, I think. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's were all falling on, like, Saints' days. And so we, like, made it a point to spend it with the audience. Well, well Christmas and New Year fall on the same day every year, so yeah. that would make sense. Yeah. Does it, wait, does New Year really fall on the same day every year? It falls on the same day as Christmas every year. Oh. They're like... Oh, yeah, shit, I guess that would work. That does make sense. Yeah. Fuck me, okay, all right. Yeah, jeez, I didn't even think about it quite like that. Um, and I'm once again logged into the wrong fucking Streamlabs. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm the best, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm incredible at this. This is, this is an amazingly professional uh, setup you got here. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Worked very hard. Um, you know, it's kind of funny, too, because, uh, because Nick's not here, and I'm debuting new special effects. There are new special effects for the show. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. Annie Monster says, Drinking myself into a coma tonight, eating myself into a coma tomorrow. Pray for me, fam. Ian is a beautiful man. Jeff, you're okay, too, I guess. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a very beautiful man. Thank you. We need to come up with a really good name for him, though. Like, 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 uh, like, uh, Hellbound Cowboy or some shit or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> all right, so here's, here's the big, do you guys ready for this crazy effect? Watch this shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Be somebody. So, <clears throat> yes, it the 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 studio is now extremely deep. It's extremely deep, but we can see crazy, crazy fucking effects. So, uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, forgot about Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday is gonna be a hell of a thing, man. Pack a bag, lunch, go down to the mall, find a really good bench. Some comfy, or or 
see how long you can park it in one of those massage chairs before some pissed off like <laughs> dude goes like, excuse me sir you have to pay for that <laughs> yeah don't don't pay for it just sit in it yeah just sit in it for god's sake put your phone in landscape mode when yeah you're shooting videos of these for things for the fights I know seriously hi buddy landscape mode you're, we're doing a show buddy you're supposed to shut the door please <laughs> oh my gosh do you want to are you do you, are you do you want to be on the show for a second come here come here you want to open the door hi <laughs> oh he's so proud of himself too he's so proud of himself kid tax well don't get shy you wanted to come in here all right go on <laughs> go on all right love you anyway <clears throat> so yeah while you're sitting there take up that chair don't pay for it just sit there eat oh. your bag lunch you want to fill it you want to fill it with farts too yeah, you know, yeah. like make get, sure you get get nice and gassy before you go. That's right. And uh, and bring bring some drink in a uh, in a paper bag. Right. It doesn't have to be alcohol; just something in a paper bag, oh, so you can <laughs> sit there and drink out of it. And everybody judges you. Right. Right. Yeah. But you know the truth. Have you ever seen those baby flasks? Baby flask. Oh my God! All right, hang on. No, gotta... what, what is a baby flask? <laughs> Describe. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta see it. Uh, baby flask. This is this is something that. Uh... Oh, oh, here we Jesus go. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, I think here. I have seen here. this. Uh, the guy with the VSOP pouring it into uh, into a fake baby. Yeah, and into a drinking fake baby. through a straw through the and, baby's forehead. And you just put a little hat over top of uh, the baby's head, and then when you're ready, you kiss the baby's forehead and, and yeah, you just like get drunk. Yeah, I need one. I need yeah. one really bad. Right. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. I need I need a deluxe version with twins. I drink a lot. <laughs> you do drink a lot. Yeah. Yeah. One with oh, whiskey. Oh, twins. <laughs> the whole idea is not to draw attention to yourself. No, no, but I mean, conjoined twins would be rad. That would be pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, don't pack a bag lunch, pack a picnic with some beer and enjoy the chaos. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the problem is with packing a picnic is you lay it all out and it gets trampled. Mm -hmm. You pack a bag lunch, you're mobile. You can pick up and move when you see that herd coming at you. See, that's a good point. That's a good point. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what would be a great, uh, a great after, after effects, uh, 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 uh shit post video? Try and get as much footage, like high def footage of people like rampaging for Black Friday. Okay. And then that scene from Jurassic Park where they're running from all the dinosaurs and they're like oh, charging around. And they're on the, the field? Yeah, they yeah, yeah. The plane. And just have like all these these like fat Walmart shoppers like just Replace running. the dinosaurs with fat Walmart shoppers. I think it's totally doable. You'd have to like increase the speed on that though because fat Walmart shoppers aren't that hard to run from. I just make them bigger so they're thundering with longer oh, okay. strides. Right. You know? Okay. That would work. It's all perspective, man. It's right. all it's all it's all perspective work, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, a booze a toddler, a boozier, boozier, boozler, boozler. Yeah, absolutely. But it's good to see you guys. Uh, sorry, the show isn't necessarily what we originally uh, usually do, but we're gonna have some fun anyway. You ready? To, uh, you, okay, so all right. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Uh, I explained the basic idea of midweek uh, to Ian, and when you're outing me as not watching your show, well, to you, your you, viewers you and usually I'm one of your best friends. Well, you used to watch, or I think you still do. You still watch like the regular show. That you just, I don't think you've ever watched midweek though, right? Because you don't really use Twitch a lot. Well, because I work during the week and I work in weird places, and sometimes I'm That's true. in the middle of work when you're broadcasting. I'm really jealous of this guy. He's he basically gets flown every single week to a different city to be a mechanic. Exotic locations such as Sacramento, California, and Ooh. Osceola, Arkansas. Ooh, yeah, yeah that's uh, Chan Hassan, Minnesota. I'm looking at you. Chan Hassan. All the damn time I'm there. Let me tell you what. There's some there's some fine ass bitches and. Chen Hasshole Harahan uh, in Minna, Minneapolis. You know, the, the, their claim to fame is that's where Prince is from. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. The hotel I stay in is like half a mile from Paisley Park. Oh, okay. But I've never been there because it's fucking expensive and I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Spectacular is in the chat. We were hanging out with them when him and Sester were in town. Oh, yeah. what's up, buddy? 
Yeah. Corn of a down up in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we should make our own cover band. We should. No, because I don't. I can't play any any musical instruments. You don't have to. You have to pretend to sing like Jonathan Davis. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Actually, I actually, I actually can sing like Jonathan Davis, but I refuse to do it because otherwise, <laughs> you motherfuckers will never let me live it down. Well, you know, I sent a picture of Jonathan Davis on stage to this guy when I was at a show that happened. To, he happened to be at. I said, "Hey, motherfucker, I didn't know you were here." <laughs> I appreciated that too. Good. You have no idea what condition I was in when I got that too. We're, uh, I was not in a very good condition. Like, I was. Uh, I was very inebriated okay. at the time, <laughs> and I, 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 I almost puked because I was laughing so hard. Because <laughs> everything nice. was, it, it was all, I was very slow, and there was nothing fucking going on. I'm just hanging out, and uh, it, it, I'd been really bored. And, you so know, you drink. I'm, I'm on, well, I'm on the down slope of, oh, okay. of a binge, of, of like drinking pretty hard, and then my, my phone rings, and you and know. That, that was a Saturday, too. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, you know, it's like, hey, I didn't know you were down here in Sacramento, and it's a fucking giant picture of Jonathan Davis. No, I, I almost fucking threw up. I was so hard. <laughs> good. Oh, fuck. Good. Good, good. You'll play the instruments for me, bi- Biotech Babe? Thank you. That sounds good. Name, name my price. My price for what? What's the, what's the price that we're doing today? Uh, one penny. One penny. No, don't, we're no, not no. prices right, No, rules? no, see, see. Nick whores me out all the time. Oh, okay. It makes me do terrible fucking things for money. <laughs> terrible things. Uh, so no, I I get I, I get my my fill of that. Don't you do it too? <laughs> oh, oh no, I I got a I got a new thing to do now. Oh, to sing like Jonathan Davis. Yeah. Uh, more than you can afford. Um, <clears throat> no, no, I'm not doing it. All right. So anyway, we're gonna do we're gonna do some uh, some news articles. Don't here. look at the words. Don't I, look at the words, Jeff. Okay, okay. So because the words on the screen kind of give this away. Right, but the, the audience will see it. They'll know, but you won't. I don't want you to know. Okay, okay. Because I explained what the, this whole thing to him. He picked out this article, and he's not letting me read it. So I'm not even looking at the screen. So what? What is okay, happening? Okay. So so old old people who used to listen to Loveline all the time will, uh-huh. will know this game. Okay. I'm gonna read you a headline. Uh huh. <clears throat> and you have to simply answer Germany or Florida because all the most fucked up shit in the world happens in either Germany or Florida that's true that's very true okay so the headline is 73 year old woman worried about meth she was smoking asked doctor to test it did this happen in Germany or did this happen in Florida well it's meth I don't really think there's a lot of meth in Germany I know there's a well shit I did have a friend tell me all about doing speed balls and all sorts of crazy shit in Germany. So I guess it's possible. I'm going to go Florida. It is. It's Florida. Okay. I, this was an easy one. It was a layup. But I, I, I saw the headline, and my first thought was, this has to be Florida. And then I read the byline, and sure enough, um, this woman is in Florida. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least she was being safe with her drug use well let's let's check this out do you care if i smoke in here i don't care okay. I, love, I love secondhand smoke mm. 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 this is your studio anyway i mean it's well we were on the, the bridge of the voyager oh well now we're looking at the view screen yeah <clears throat> oh okay so we're still on the bridge we've just turned our chairs around that's right there that's we go absolutely okay right. i don't know what uh what the the smoking in the workplace laws are with the uh the United Federation of Planets. Neither but. do I, actually. I don't think there's like a lot of people who smoke in, in Starfleet. Anyway, <clears throat> 73-year-old woman worried about meth she was smoking asked doctor to test it. Uh, this comes to us from WSB TV Atlanta. Uh, Polk County, Florida, 73-year-old Florida woman wanted to make sure what she was smoking was really methamphetamine. So she <laughs> took the drugs to her doctor for testing. Hmm. Polk County resident Barbara Lee Ray said she was scared of what smoking it was doing to her. He- <laughs> Well, you, you you don't want bootleg meth, Jeff. Yeah. You don't. You I mean, you you don't want to lose. You don't want to grow teeth back. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's yep. That's fair. That's true. Uh, it's just it's it's an odd it's an odd statement though. Like I, I I'm worried about what it's doing. It's meth. <laughs> what do you think it's gonna do to you? So, <clears throat> is it really going to get any worse? Let's let's be honest here. Fuck, I actually kicked back. Yeah, that's okay. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. 
according to the Miami Herald, which cited an arrest affidavit <laughs> and brought her doctor uh, to the at the Complete Care Family Medicine Associates office in Fort Meade, two clear plastic bags containing a crystal-like substance on November 5th. Both bags tested positive for meth. You won. Hey. You won. You won. Good job. Win. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Good job. You did it. Hooray. <laughs> although, <laughs> although it was unclear how she obtained the drug or why she was smoking it, she um, did tell I'm her sure doctor. she was smoking it because she didn't like reality and she lives in Florida. That's, yeah. I mean, okay. If I was stuck in Florida, I don't think I would resort to meth, though. I think I'd probably just, like, drop a shit ton of acid. And, and do a bunch of club drugs? Oh, no, no, Miami. I'm, no. Go, go to Miami and do a bunch of club drugs? Oh, my God. <laughs> go to, get, take, like, a, a fucking oodles of of uh, alphabet soup designer drugs and go to, like, a, a salsa club. Okay. <laughs> I actually really like salsa music. Yeah? Yeah. What about ranchero music? What's ranchero music? It's like the, uh, the, the stuff you, uh, like, the accordions and... Mexican music with the accordions and the really the, the big bass and everything. Fish, and fish, the bom, fish, bom, 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 bom. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, all right. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, she's seven three seventy three. Is probably a bucket list thing. Maybe, maybe it could be. It's possible. I'll get to the stream labs in just a second once we uh, we get through this thing real quick. Um, <clears throat> she did tell her doctor she's been smoking meth for about a month. Busted. Uh, <laughs> Ray was arrested and booked into the Polk County Jail on charges of methamphetamine possession and possession of drug paraphernalia. The arrest warrant said Ray, who was released from jail on November 7th, appeared to be under the influence of the drug when she was taken into custody. Now, okay, let's let's think about this for a second. <clears throat> this is an old lady. She lives in Florida. Uh, she goes in to the doctor and she's like, this meth I've been smoking, I think it might not be good meth. Will you, will you treat... <laughs> Now, what could compel? It's not blue. It's not blue. <laughs> what What do you think could compel a woman to actually go to the doctor? I mean, maybe meth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. smoking yeah. meth. Yeah, maybe smoking maybe. meth. Maybe that's that's why. I don't know. Like you know, could be, could be, could be. Just I'm just saying. You know, you know, I don't think great decisions come from meth use. Well, it's not like they can't. No, I just don't think they generally do. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's switch back over here. Right, let's uh, let's bring up the Streamlabs, <laughs> and uh, there we go. God, I love I fucking I love messing around with green Engage. screens. Engage. Oh wait, wrong wrong series. I engage. Uh, all right, so Streamlabs. <clears throat> Addy Monster says this one is late because the damn internet crashed. But anyway, pinkies the fuck up for anyone working retail on Black Friday. Indeed, pinkies up to you. You find people and pinkies up for you. Uh, I've done that shit, and it will suck your fucking soul out through your asshole. Descriptive. Yeah. Never again. Uhuru, my brothers and sisters. Uhuru. <laughs> Uhuru to you and to all the other moon Jews around the world. Happy, uh, happy dawn of the turkey day. Uh, Addy Monster says, sent you something on Discord, El Jefe, in case you need something to pad the show out. A little positivity ahead into the holiday. No pressure to play it, man. I, I actually, I checked it out. I think that uh, if everything works out to do something with Nick tomorrow, uh, we'll probably watch it then. So, but I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's good. Wish you luck. Oh no, guys! I think Gabby might be working. Uh, might be working retail tomorrow. Oof. Oof. Fuck. Yeah, no fun. Yeah. No. No, fun. no that's no good. Mm. Turkey's overrated. I think turkey's overrated too. Yeah, but you only really eat it about once a year. That's true. I mean, how can how could it be overrated if you ate it a lot throughout the year? And then I don't really know a lot of people. I mean, maybe turkey sandwiches every once in a while, but really, how often do you eat turkey? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there's always like some some people who are like, let's go get sandwiches. Oh no, I'm gonna get turkey. And you're like, eh, Karen. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Karen. What the fuck, Karen? Who the fuck eats a turkey sandwich, like, outside of outside of Thanksgiving? It doesn't make any sense. No, no. Turkey's, uh... Yeah. I mean, it's it's not that great, but if you only have to eat it once a year, it's all right. I can yeah. live with that. I could, I could, yeah, like, the the whole tur... Like, Larry's talking about turducken. I've never had a turducken. Have you? No, I haven't had a turducken. Um, Ooh. 
That's a thing. Yeah. Uh, Dursa Flutterby, thank you very much for the videos. Appreciate you. Um, <clears throat> can't wait for the new, for the porno saints with the new green screen. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I don't think I'll, I, I might be on the other side of the camera for that one. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. That, might, that, might, that might work. I might have to be your videographer for that. But yeah, no, I, I've never had a turducken. That actually sounds pretty good. That would probably actually make me eat turkey. Yeah. But you know what? You know what we did for Thanksgiving last year? What did you do for Thanksgiving? We, we went to a fucking Chinese restaurant. Nice. Yeah. It's better. Nice. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> the only thing I really like about, um, I actually really enjoy about Thanksgiving is. Uh, I should have gotten the, the materials for it tonight. Um, the materials uh, or the, the ingredients? Ingredients. <laughs> uh, Are you crafting a food? Chicken and dumplings. Okay. I fucking love chicken and dumplings. And in fact, I have a crock pot, and that's the only thing I fucking use it for. My wife's making uh, this cranberry sauce stuff. Ugh. But it's really good. Is it? It's got like apples in it, and it's got like orange zest in it. It's better than like the the. It's cranberry not the canned. Can. It's not the canned stuff, which I mean, the canned stuff has its place. Okay. But like it's slow cookered, like actual cranberries, and it's 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 pretty good. Okay, here's a question I have for you, and I have I have this for the, for you, the chat as well. Uh, obviously, I've I've had a lot of, of Thanksgiving dinners, and there's always cranberry sauce. Right. What the fuck is cranberry sauce for? It's like a little garnishy type thing. Yeah, but what do you put it on? You, put, you can put it on your potatoes. You can put it on your. Uh, you can put it on the turkey. Who the fuck puts the fruit hey, on have, your have potatoes? You ever, okay, have you ever been to IKEA? I know the answer to this. Yes, I have. Okay, have you ever had their uh, their Swedish meatballs? Yes, I have. And it's got the lingonberry sauce on it. Hey, well, same damn thing, different berry. Uh, it's just a little blast of flavor. To make the turkey edible. It's that's flavor a good too. It's flavor town. It's flavor town. Okay. Uh, fruit goes good with meat. It can. It can. Right. Like I just put it on your dry ass turkey. Put it on a sandwich. All right. Uh, if you got a dry ass turkey, you're fucking cooking it wrong first and foremost. That's true. Uh, like any any food, if it's dry and it's not supposed to be, look up a different way to cook it. Well, you could just like chop the turkey up into pieces, stick it in a in a microwave, like. Slathered in a whole stick of butter, and that, that'll get pretty juicy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't mind, uh, you know, eating butter based <clears throat> turkey I from mean, the microwave could be could be worse. Could be worse. Mint jelly on lamb. That's too. a Brit thing, right there. Huh? Mint jelly on lamb. Is it? That's a mint jelly and mutton. Yeah, that's a huh. Brit thing. That actually sounds kind of good. Deep fried in peanut oil. That that sounds pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's good ways to cook turkey. Okay, okay. Spectacular is, is talking my fucking language here. Jalapeno jelly on ham. See, I'm not a big spicy person. I mean, mm. I'll eat spicy stuff, but I'm not a big spicy person, so. See, strawberry lube and penis. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a different kind of Thanksgiving uh, dinner there, Addy. <laughs> it's a little bit different. All right, anyway. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's move on. Yeah, yeah. So you you won you won this version of Germany or Florida, oh uh, yeah. But since Loveline doesn't exist, at least not properly anymore, I, right. I feel justified in stealing that because that was actually a really good bit. <laughs> All right, so fucking you guys in the chat are cracking my ass up. All right, <clears throat> this is not Germany or Florida. Oh okay. This is from Women. Women. Women dot com. Is it women or is it? Himmen. Him? Women? Is the W silent? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Is it like cool whip? <laughs> Women. Women. With her in mind. Uh, I read my cheating fiance's texts instead of my vows at our wedding. What? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. We need to break this down, because that's... I know. That's a whole new level of masochism right there. Yeah, I, like, okay. I'm going to need more whiskey for this. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, it's right there. I, I thought oh. I was going to have to riff there for you. Good. Oh, no, no, no. I uh, <clears throat> I splurged a little bit tonight, and I got myself another bottle of Four Spirits bourbon whiskey. And this shit's pretty great. <clears throat> this is from... Uh, do, 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 do. It's from <laughs> Oregon. Uh, let's see. It's from fourspirits.com. 
E- well, yeah, oh. forcebeerdistillery.com. <laughs> no, 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 it's uh, the distillery. It's right on that side, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Corvallis, Corvallis, Oregon. Oh, and uh, okay. it's all it's made by veterans, and like it even has like its own dog tag and shit like that. It's it's dope. It's dope whiskey. I you mean, try some? Sure. All right. I mean, <laughs> if you like whiskey. Yeah. Like I said earlier, there's two types of whiskey drinkers: uh, those who don't like whiskey, and those who lie and drink it anyway. Right. I know you're not a big whiskey guy, but you know. <clears throat> That's all right. I mean, it's whiskey. Yeah, it's, it's smooth. Whiskey. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, it's not gonna kill you. Ah, uh, yes I'll to the vets. To my rum. Fuck yeah, yes to the uh, to, to the vets to the vet. and to the moon Jews around the world. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll stick with the rum. Whew. It's tasty. Whew. All right. <clears throat> so, okay, I read my cheating fiance's text ahead of my vows at our wedding. Now, I'm gonna make some predictions about this article. Okay. Um, I, it is going to be framed as a women's empowerment article. Right. This looks like a Lifetime Network-inspired website. It, it really does. But I feel like by the end of this, we're going to feel really bad for this woman. Because of the subtext that she's just not acknowledging. Um, I... Okay, so with this, I think... I think we're going to read a memoir of a person with mental issues who refuses to believe they have any issues that they need to work on somebody who probably should see somebody okay but refuses to acknowledge it but still wonders why all their problems are coming from other people oh i just read the second line okay casey couldn't wait to marry alex until an anonymous text hours before her wedding changed everything all right okay well that changes everything a little bit too a little bit so let's check this out so now it's more virtual i'm gonna read this like karen Wait, wait a minute. Real quick, though. Oh. Huh. Anonymous text hours before your wedding? Yeah. Like, grain of salt that shit at that point in time. You, you have to. If somebody is trying to send an anonymous... If they really wanted you to know this actually happened... Right. Like, anonymous text hours before wedding, that seems like a... Just... You gotta grain of salt it and actually do your due diligence on that. You can't just... I'm kind of with you on this, yeah. I I agree. All right, so I'm reading it like Karen. Here we go. Here we go. I stood at the front of the room in my wedding dress and looked out over the excited faces of friends and family. My hands are shaking, knees weak, palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti, but not nearly as much as my insides quivered. (laughs) This is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Wait, wait, Jeff? You're supposed to be reading the article, not Penthouse Forum. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, supposed to be reading, like, Karen. I forgot. This is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. There you go. Instead, I knew it was the end of my dream relationship, and everyone was going to witness it. Check out my new TV. Alex and I had been together for six years. I felt like he was the one instantly. The one. The one. Like Neo. As opposed to the one is the one. Capital That's on right. both. Emphasis. Are you saying I'm gonna have to stay uh I'm gonna have to stay faithful to my wife? No. Oh, dodge that bullet. <laughs> what I'm saying is when you're ready, you won't have to. Oh, oh excellent. Okay. He's like he's, he's like dodging responsibility and fidelity. <laughs> Woo! Alright, anyway. Our families became fr- our families became friends, our lives were entwined, and I believed we'd live happily ever after. The text message that changed everything. On the last night of my unwed life, I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, I was with hanging I was with hanging out my best friends in a glitzy <laughs> hotel room. My phone buzzed from across the room and I did a silly sachet with my glass in my hand to go retrieve it. Phone is running hot tonight, commented one of the bridesmaids. And why is it across the room? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta... Hey, cheers to that that spicy bridesmaids bands here. All right. <clears throat> but this text wasn't like the other wishes of luck and love. This text took us all by surprise and changed everything in a heartbeat. In the heartbeat. This is written by a Pulitzer Prize winner. Ah, uh, it is. The message was a series of screenshots from a number I didn't recognize. The accompanying message simply said... I wouldn't marry him, will you? The screenshots are of conversations between my husband-to-be and another woman. Loads of them, including selfies of the pair. She was the opposite of me. I'm blonde and fair, and this unknown woman had dark hair and olive skin. 
The texts are dated from months to only days before. My brain simply could not compute what the f WTF was going on. <clears throat> there was no questioning the legitimacy of these messages. I just knew. This weekend, you and I, it is on Hot Stuff, Bring Your A-Game. Your body is fucking incredible. And shit, do you know how to use it? I wish my girlfriend had had the skills you do. I miss you so much, I can't stop thinking about L.S. fucking you. I've never... What the fuck does that mean? L.S. effing... What? L.S. effing you. Uh, L.S.F.? Does L -S -F somebody know this? Yeah, what does L.S.F. stand yeah. for? Like, I don't... Hey! Papel 101! Hey, babes, a whole year already. Thank you so much. 12-month-long subscription with that Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. That's very, very sweet. Lick suck fuck? Lucky shit fuck? I don't know. Long slow fuck? I long slow fuck. Ooh. Long slow fucking. Hey, could that's be, could okay. Be. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Lickety split fucking? I mean, <laughs> it could, could be a quickie thing. <laughs> Gotta go get my fuck on. Um, I've never had this, I've never had this kind of connection before. Every word like a dagger in my heart, and my wedding was only hours away. How could I cancel when everyone had already traveled to be there and everything was paid for? Uh, easy. You say, this isn't happening. Mm -hmm. This is my special day. Mm -hmm. And it's not special anymore, so y'all can fuck off. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right! <laughs> Long schlong fucking... Lick suck fuck is pretty good. Lesser Saints of Facebook. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Lo Lesser Saints of Facebooking her. Oh. Yeah. Um, um yeah. uh shit. Let me I'm trying to think of a good one. I mean, I, I know cars it could be a limited slip fuck, like a limited slip differential. I don't ooh, know. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um uh lisping shitting fuck. Oh, ooh. Uh I don't know. I'm Spicy. sorry, I'm sorry, I fit all over you. <laughs> sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Linguini spice fuck? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Lonely sockful. That's a good one. <laughs> Lonely sockfuling you. Literally. So is that like, uh, that's, that's the uh, the long distance video version. That's that's a fucking good one. That's a really good one. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use that. I'm going to stash that one away. Yeah, in a sock. Uh, <laughs> hey, by the way, wash that sock <laughs> at least once a week. Yeah, don't, 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 oh, oh, don't use a sock. I mean, it's it's happened in in a, in a time or two. In heat of the moment, uh, man, that's why I stock up on. Like, okay, you go. So I go to hotels all the time, right? Right. I always bring at least one hand towel home. To burn to the gods. <laughs> no, no, I mean, Stop yeah. the ass kissing with you. Hey, no, no, you, you bring it home to uh, to use for for you know clean up afterward. You know, plural. You can use them solo, but I don't right. bring I don't bring dirty ones home. No, okay. that's, that's disgusting. No, yeah, yeah. No, I bring a clean one home and make it dirty at home. Tube suck. Uh... No, I mean like I I see uh... that's what oh paper towels or hotel towels. Paper towels are good. Um, I I always pull the napkins out of like fast food and just stash them for when I just you know need to onto something. You know whatever, it's fine. I mean, you don't what you don't have a shoebox under your bed? No, okay. thank you. No, 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 <laughs> no, sir. No way. Kid likes to crawl under the bed. Fuck that. <clears throat> <laughs> I I just remembered a story about ferrets. About ferrets? <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> No, this is this is one of your stories about when you had ferrets and ferrets stashing uh, stashing things under the bed. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck, dude, dude, ferrets, <laughs> ferrets are fucking disgusting creatures. <laughs> They're absolutely disgusting creatures, and uh, yeah, no, I we we used to let the ferrets run around all over the place when I was dating this one woman. She had a shit ton of, and I mean, a fucking shit ton of ferrets, and they loved condoms, especially tied off condoms full of full of full of my spunk. They just pop that shit, and, <laughs> and I find them later. Cause I'd be like, "Shit, where did that condom go?" <laughs> Crap. And then later, I'd find it under the bed, and sure enough, it's it's got little teeth marks in it. There's a real excited little ferret just jumping around, like, "Oh God!" I, and you know, there, there's there's oh. somebody defending ferrets, and you know, I've I've had ferrets. They're they've got their place. They're cute animals. They're fun. Yeah. They're adorable. Yeah. They stink. They yeah. 
Yeah. And and they they eat co- eat disgusting condoms. So lesbian scrotum forensics. That's that is pretty good. It's pretty good. I I don't know the lonely the lonely sock one was pretty pretty great too. Come guzzling ferret is my new grindcore band name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> that uh, you only do screeching weasel covers in that. <laughs> I burst into shamed and broken tears. My girls are threatening all manner of violence against him. They insisted I call him immediately and call the wedding off. But I loved Alex. I wanted to marry Alex tomorrow. I was too shocked and sad to be angry. I didn't call him. Eventually, we tried to go to bed. I didn't sleep a wink. And when dawn finally broke, I awoke the girls and told them my decision. I was going to go ahead with the wedding as expected and out him in front of our friends and family. I walked down the aisle with leaden feet, my dream dress now just a costume. As he saw my face, he knew this is not an ecstatic woman on her big day, but he had no idea what was coming. Uh, I arrived at the front of the room, took a big breath, and faced our friends, our parents, and told them the truth about Alex. There will be no wedding today, I announced. Good for her. If this is real, which I doubt. But if it is, good for her. It seems Alex is not who I thought he was. A ripple of shock went through the crowd, and Alex tried to grab my hands, but I put down my flowers to reveal my phone in my hand. I read every single message she sent me. With each word, more color left Alex's face. I let my weeping eyes rise and meet his, and he had not one thing to say. He stalked out of the church with his best man trailing behind him. His family looked on horrified. I faced our guests once more. I love all of you, and as horrible as this is, I'm glad you're all here. There will not be a wedding reception today, but instead there will be a celebration of honesty, finding true love, and following your heart even when it hurts. There was a smattering of awkward applause and a little cheering. What was the correct response to this news? It was certainly not the wedding day I had planned, but to our credit, it was one hell of a party. This is it one of those... Sounds, sounds like it when you're like, oh, uh, yay? Yeah. Yay. It, where's where's the champagne? This is like <laughs> one of those... Every, I need to drink. I, yeah. <laughs> this is like one of those everybody clapped kind of situations. I don't think everybody clapped. No. Well, I'm pretty sure the groom's family didn't. But you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Okay, so, like, uh, on the internet, you'll find, like, these stories that are being told with, like, here, let's go to the big screen. Fuck this. Hang on. You'll find these stories that are being told, and they're like, uh, I was in the grocery store, and there was a man who was zig-hiling, and I stood up to him, and I told him. everybody clapped at me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 and everybody clapped. This 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 sounds very, very, very fake. By by the way, according to Urban Dictionary, (laughs) LSF is lick, suck, fuck, but that's boring. Okay. So we need to okay. come up with a better version of that tonight. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, I, t- 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 truly L says, and that husband's name? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. That's right. Most people didn't know that this is what happened at Albert Einstein's uh, wedding. The, the other thing, too, is uh, what you really didn't know is that he actually ripped off... Um, Abraham Lincoln with that. He was just paying tribute to Abraham Lincoln when oh, he did that. Oh, that's right. It was actually yeah. Abraham Lincoln who read the text of his gay lover uh, cheating on him. Right, right. With uh, a high-pitched, squeaky voice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Lasagna <laughs> storage facility. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty all right. Um, Jeff, did you give your boy a chaos shirt? I think you only sent me and Mem's chaos shirts. Did you send one for me- for for winter? I don't know. Mem's would know. But anyway, chaos shirt. That sounds pretty rad. Yeah, no, they're great t-shirts. They're absolutely amazing. Nice. Uh, so this one's pretty fun. Do you want to read this one? Uh, sure. Yeah, I actually read the story earlier, so I know about it before okay. you even brought it up. Um, do we good? All right. So, uh, teenager loses his driver's license. After 49 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, this, this, by the way, back to Germany or Florida. Back, this, is, this is Germany. This See, is Germany. The great stories come from Germany and come from Florida. My mind is being blown by this. Um, CNN. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. And a German teenager has learned that lesson the hard way by losing his driver's license just 49 minutes after passing his test. The 18-year-old, who was apparently celebrating his achievement by driving four of his friends around, was clocked traveling at almost twice the speed limit less than an hour after his test, police said. (laughs) Fucking idiot. He had his short-lived license revoked for four weeks and will have to have more training sessions behind the wheel. The teenager was also hit with a 220 euro, which is $228. That's... Really? When... That... Is that a current... 
conversion. Two, 200 euro to 228, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's a new conversion because last I checked it was actually, that would have been a lot more in USD. Yeah, um, well, I, the the euro is actually worth more than the dollar right now. Right, but it, it it's they're getting closer to accurate or to even, I guess. Um, after being caught traveling at 95 kilometers per hour in a 50 kph zone, uh, in the German Mark word, Ash, Mark Scher, um, Mark Schreis. By the way, in freedom units, 95 kilometers per hour is about 60 ish, and 50 kilometers per hour is about 30. Five ish. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Give or take. I mean, yeah. that's that's pretty dumb. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's uh, you know, we all did stupid shit when we first got our license. Some things hold for eternity. Some not even an hour. German police said in the statement <laughs> on poetic. their Facebook page. What the fuck? They also speculated that the driver was trying to impress his fellow passengers. I would speculate he's just trying to get from point A to point B very efficiently. Unless he's like... It's Germany. Uh, you have to be efficient. Was he, was he like, trying to, like, fucking one-hand it, like, check it out? I, I don't know. Like, I don't understand. Uh, and it says, some commenters on the post reveled in the irony of the situation, while others questioned whether he should have been given a license in the first place. I mean... Um, that's kind of... Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. You know, I can... I don't really consider that ironic or why the German authorities would know that that's what he was going to do after getting his license. I mean, I've gone I've gone and done something, been like, oh yes, I'm very responsible. I wouldn't do this, and I get the thing, and then I go and be very irresponsible with it. Is right. that the fault of the person who, who, who gave me access to whatever that thing was? Or is that my fault for... No, yeah, being it's, extremely it's, irresponsible. It's your fault. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. that's some some horseshit. But yeah, of course he was trying to impress his passengers. Oh yeah. I mean, he's, he's like, yeah, I got my fucking driver's license. Let's check this shit out. It's oh, gonna be great. And, and something this story didn't share is that uh, I guess his provisional license is two years in Germany. Oh. And he got that extended doubled. So his provisional license is now four years. Oh, when he gets it back, it's gonna have to be for four years. That's right, crazy. Right. Well, okay. So when I when I was younger, <clears throat> and uh, I had I think I had my my license for like three weeks, and I decided that I was going to take a trip down to Eugene because I got my license up in Portland. Yeah. Um, our first trip down to Eugene, I started blasting Metallica, and I got really excited. <laughs> And I was I was hauling ass at like eighty five miles an hour because everybody else is going eighty five. Like right. coming out of Portland, everybody's going fast as fuck. But then when everybody else slowed down, I didn't. <laughs> and so the cop fucking pulled me over, and he he heard the fucking Metallica too. Right. Because he even made the comedy. He's like Metallica, huh? I'm like. Well, at least you got a cop who knew what you were listening to. Yeah, uh, and I'm like, I'm really, really sorry. I did say I really didn't mean this, but like, you know, I just got my license. I'm on the way down. It's all my fault. I'm really sorry. And he looks at like the issue date. He looks at me and he's like, "Kid, just slow the fuck down, all right? <laughs> Don't fucking do that shit." And then he turns around and walks off. He's a cool cop. He's a great dude. Uh, apparently, bald power, and I got a bald ass head from mouth. 17? And, and bar 17? two, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. This motherfucker made me bald. We all go to the same bar. I did, yeah. No, I shaved his head. We have footage. First time, yeah. I wonder if I can find that, actually. I don't know. That's up to you. Hang on. Let me see. <laughs> Let's, let me oh, see that's going to be interesting. I might actually still have this. Yeah. Um, I, hope, I, I hope you do. I wouldn't think you'd delete it, but... Uh, no, I didn't delete it, but I don't know if I saved it somewhere that's, like, really easy to find. I think I titled it Shaving a Man. Probably. Probably. So, funny story about uh, about being younger and speeding. I, I was younger, um, and I Once. was driving from, from California up to Oregon. Um, by younger, I mean, like six days younger than I am now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but I was driving from California to Oregon and, and got popped with a speeding ticket for... Uh, for I was doing... It, so apparently CHP has forward-facing radar because this CHP was uh, was coming towards me. He was going south. I was headed north. Right. I watched him flip a bitch in the median. Like, in the median of the, the freeway, I'm like, oh, he's uh, coming after me because I had the cruise control set at 89 in uh, a 70. Oh. He was nice. He wrote me up for 80 in a 70, but... Uh, That's not that bad. Oh, it's, it's still... 
I mean, it still stings. It hurts. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. the funny thing is, he said he tagged me at eighty six, and I know for certain I was going eighty nine because that's what cruise control was set at. So can I actually go into court and fight it with the the accuracy of the ticket? And go. He wrote me up for eighty. He put on the ticket eighty six. I was doing eighty nine. This ticket is inaccurate. <laughs> I don't think it I needs would to be thrown out. I wouldn't suggest doing that. I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> By the way, this is still an active, uh, uh, it may or may not still be an active ticket, so this is all hypothetical internet, not something that actually happened. I may or may not fight this. Right. That's, uh, you know what? I'm starting to think that it might still be on one of my, my cards. Oh. You, you know, I'll, I'll try and find it, and then <laughs> then you hardcore Saints fans, uh, at some point, I'll just, like, spring it on you and be like, here's a footage of me shaving this man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, With bonus footage of what happened afterward. Yeah. It all comes back to condoms. Do, do, do. Somebody asked, why did you delete most of your Keck videos? I only ever made one Keck of Sam video, and uh, I un I unlisted that, like, three months ago, uh, way before all this, this silly drama shit happened. Like, I just don't care, man. Like, it's a dead meme. Who gives a fuck? All right, <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, Addy Monster says, I guarantee you any Southerner here stateside has a hold my beer story that beat this record. Yeah, no, oh, I... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, no. <clears throat> it's just, it's just... What is what is your best hold my beer story? Oh, shit. Uh, you're going to have to come back to me on this one. I, yeah. I, I haven't put any thought into my best hold my beer story, but uh, I've got some... I've done some stupid shit. I I've done some really stupid shit. I've done some really stupid shit too. I'm having trouble like remembering mine, but there was a friend of mine <clears throat> who uh, it, it's kind of a whole my beer story. Uh, we we all like to get a little sauced up and a little crazy and shit. And uh, there was a rope swing. And there was a friend of mine <clears throat> who was really big and fat, and uh, you know no, no no shame on him or anything like that. But he was a big boy. Uh, the so we all like to go off this uh this fucking this rope swing and he didn't want to go up to the very tip tip highest point so he went sideways to a much smaller perch and we're like dude all right if you're gonna do this you gotta <laughs> lift your fucking legs up and he's like okay okay so he swings off doesn't lift his fucking legs up a root system comes up out of the ground and back down okay and it fucking caught his foot he's he's He's, 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 he was pretty out of it too so I mean it's kind of his fault but it's kind of not at the same time that motherfucker like <clears throat> like a whip like wham <laughs> like his knees hit the ground then the top of his thighs his belly his chest and then the all of the centrifugal force just whipped his face busted his face all up it was amazing <laughs> so I've I've got two stories that that reminds me of okay go for it first story you know Jim yeah, Jimbo. yeah, Jimbo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jimbo. my best friend from high school. So the two of us worked at a Boy Scout camp when we were younger. I taught kids how to shoot rifles. Jim worked in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know who thought it was a good idea for me to teach kids how to shoot guns. But, yeah, you know how to shoot You know, shoot whatever. Guns. But at this camp, we had a, a rope swing over a cargo net. And uh, the people who worked at the camp, especially in the week before camp started, we may or may not have, you know, snuck in alcohol. Of course. And may course. or may not have got drunk, and then may or may not have thought that it was a good idea to go out and play around on the rope swing over the cargo net. Because uh, it's a rope swing, it's a cargo net, You're, how are you going to hurt yourself, right? Right, it's fine. Everything's right, fine. Right. So, Jim, again, worked in the kitchen. Um, he gets, grabs a hold of the rope swing, jumps up, goes... By the way, Jim's like six foot three. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Didn't pick up his feet. Caught his toe in the cargo net. Ah. Uh. Didn't have the hard landing that your buddy had, but he was holding on to that rope pretty good and melted his fingerprints off. Oh! Yeah, he didn't do much work washing dishes in the kitchen that year. Oh! <laughs> because he couldn't really do anything. Fuck that, dude. Oh, my God. The second story that your story reminded me of is a guy I used to work with named Brad. Now, Brad, I've got plenty of Brad stories. <sighs> Fucking Brad. No, Brad was rad. Did he get? <laughs> did he marry Karen? No, no. Karen, no. No, no okay. No. okay. Karen, Karen was not worthy of Brad. Brad was a very interesting person. He worked at a safe way. And, uh, and Brad... 
So, at Safeway, they have cashiers, courtesy clerks, all this, and they have PICs, your person in charge. Yeah. And uh, one of the PICs was named Andy. Well, Brad one day took sugar go-backs, powdered sugar. Uh-huh. The go-back is when you're at the check stand and you don't want something and they have to take it back put it on the shelf. Well, he uh, he decided to <sighs> antique this, uh, <laughs> this, this PIC over by the deli case with this bag of powdered sugar. So he ran up to him and just, antique, whap! Just poof! Oh yeah, everywhere antiquing. ruined yep. all the food in the deli case. Yep, yep. So Brad came into work one day, and uh, I don't remember if it was Brad or another guy that worked with Brad who really looked up to Brad, but one of the guys had a minivan, and one of the two guys came in, and his face was all fucked up, and he was limping. Right. And we're like, what the hell is going on? You know what happened? Was, well, we were driving around in his minivan the other night. And he decided that he was going to jump out of the minivan while it was running. Because, you know, all you got to do is keep running and you're good. Oh, yeah, sure. Just, so that's, so that's the, story, the story of this went, <laughs> they were going about 20. Uh-huh. Which he figured was a safe thing. You know, just all you got to do is slow down enough. 20 miles an hour. That you're not going to fuck yourself up. Faster well, than most people the, can run. The yeah. order of contact was left foot, right knee, face. <laughs> yeah yeah that i mean anybody who wasn't in that van saw that coming and i think some of the people who were in that van saw that coming but i mean what else is a minivan good for aside from opening that side door and being able to do shit while the van's going right right we're gonna get to that stream lives in just a second uh but so my my hold my beer story is gotta be uh because it reminded me um <laughs> Uh, so I was sneaking out. It was at a camp uh, in, in in Panama, Central America. Like we went out into the interior. All all of us high school kids, and uh, me and my me and my buddy, uh, he's kind of like a gangbanger dude. He brought a bottle of alcohol. I think it was like it was something disgusting, like Soco or some shit. <laughs> uh, and everybody was playing manhunt. Okay. You know, like at nighttime hide and seek, basically. Right. 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 And uh, we decided we we're gonna go all commando and shit because we were so fucking drunk. Poison sumac. Oh, yeah. Oh, good job. All over. Good all fucking. Job. My, the next day, like I felt so fucking ill and hungover, and I had to have my glasses on. My whole face was like fucking bloated and <laughs> shit. It was fucking gross. Oh, nice. <clears throat> all right. Larry Kubiak with a hundred fucking bones, Holy man. Holy shit, Larry. Good job. Thank you so much, buddy. I'm afraid it's that time again in honor of the guest Serge Tarkan Tarkian. <laughs> this should all bring moon juice together. I promise I'm done with Maximum and Weeb videos after this one. I'm, dude, I'm I'm becoming a fan of Maximum. Maximum over jism, whatever. It's shit. Well, we'll figure it out in just a second. <laughs> um, okay, but for me to be able to do this... Uh. I'm going to need to figure this out real quick. Uh, this will just take a second. <laughs> but, um, hang on. Oh, it's okay. It's even, it's even time stamped. No, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, oh, <clears throat> so Cam? you're going to need these. All right. And it needs to be plugged into that. And then I'm going to I, I need... I heard a thing. <clears throat> heard a thing happen. I'm going to need this. Okay, it is also plugged into something. Yeah. And so if I'm not mistaken... Wow, I'm not... You need... Yeah. You don't You don't pipe your sound through this. No. Okay. I don't usually. Uh, so what I need to do is go up here to audio devices, and I think I need to set that one to listen. If I'm not mistaken, enable and properties, levels, enhancement, audio. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, Give me a test sound of some sort. There, there was an option see. for test. Oh, yeah. Okay. You hear it? Okay. <laughs> right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. They can't see it yet. Okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. It's a time again. Maximum the hormone. It's time for some weeb music. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's enjoy, uh, here, let me, let me do it like this. A little bit like that. Let's yeah. see with all your internet editings. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go. On screen. I 
I don't think this is maximum the hormone though. This doesn't seem like it's. Is it maximum the hormone? Maybe. Also, we we keep having to. We're gonna have to keep pausing it. Okay. Because otherwise we'll get copy struck on this shit. <laughs> okay. Oh man. This is sick, dude. Is this like a crazy like like Japanese mashup or something like it, that? It must be because it's got <coughs> System of a Down. It's got Pantera. It's got some crazy Japanese punk thrash bands in it. Oh, okay. So the music. This is Maximum the Hormone, but it's a fan video. Okay. That's why it's got like all these extra things in, and it's a great way to show their influences. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> Hey, there you are. Oh, I gotta get a little Durst. Yeah. <laughs> I did it all for the new game. Just one of those days. Um, I could have worn worn a. Uh, Contact lenses, then they'd be making West Borland jokes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Except they don't have the hair for it. Yeah, get the little, little sunglasses. No, okay. No, 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 no. No? No. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? And I'm sorry, that was Wayne Static. That was yeah, Wayne was, Static. I'm gonna get shit for that. I was just, I'm sure I'm gonna get shit for that. I was just about to say that's fucking Wayne Static. I like I don't even I don't even like Static X, and I know that that's fucking Wayne Static. Yeah, rest in peace. I like Static X, and I'm I'm pissed that I never got to see him. But yeah, yeah. Why no cool guy shades? Hey, you know, just just because. But is was Phil Anselmo nice? Uh, he wasn't on heroin. At the time, oh, that's he was good. clean. So uh, weird. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was actually in Eugene in two thousand one, two thousand two. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely Skindred. Um, yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, th there was a show at the Cuspert that uh, his band at the time down was at, and I got meet and greet spot. Cool. And he grabbed my wife's ass. Oh really? He, yeah. gra he grabbed your wife's ass. <laughs> yeah. Nice dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that's Phil Anselmo for you, right? Well, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Breadmaster PBJ, I got a question for you real quick before we keep going. Uh, Skindred, I like the the main song that they're famous for. I actually thought it was pretty good. Was any of the rest of their music any good? Just let me know. <laughs> No, no, but they were mixing in like mid air. <laughs> no! <laughs> I guess this, this breakdown is definitely inspired. Have, have you ever have you ever heard of Maximum Hormone? No. Okay, so they are they are basically like a hardcore, um, uh, very much like System of a Down, semi screamo. Uh, you know, they're, 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 the, yeah, the, like, this music that like we're this, listening to. But then they all of a sudden will just stop and be like, like they're the most crazy, weird, <laughs> frantic, <clears throat> weird. I think po. one of those words you said was actual Japanese. Yeah, probably. Chinpo means penis. Are they thinking <laughs> about? Are they thinking about penises? I mean, well, the, I see five penises on the screen right now. All right. Well, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> There's some definite like. Definite dime harmonics in there. I want to hear. I want to hear a Japanese version of like Green Jello. <laughs> That'd be fucking great, man. That'd be fucking amazing. Holy shit. Maynard. Yeah. 
I just re okay I, I okay Gabby just like completely blew my mind with this a song about penis because they keep saying chimpo uh, a song about penis and the yelling get up boys <laughs> oh hey interesting green jello did the intro theme for spider-man maximum carnage on the SNES yeah no I, I knew that actually yeah and green jello was fronted by Maynard uh, and originally, they got sued by Kraft. Yeah, originally, and then then he bounced out of the out, out of the band. He did, he did. Yeah. But Serial Killer was like the only. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Like they're still great. No, no. Have you seen him recently in, in in on a show or anything? No. Oh my god, it's fucking terrible and awesome. It's like Guar. I was gonna say I saw Guar recently. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the same fucking it's thing. Green Jello. It's just Green are Jello. Are they still go? Uh, did they go back to going by Green Jello, or are they still Green Jelly? They just go by. Everybody calls them Green Jello, and they say Green Jello, but it's still but it's spelled, spelled Green Jelly. Jelly. Yeah, okay. yeah. And their best song is still Green Jello sucks. That's it. All right. Yeah, said, I think with the green with the Cosby rape case, I probably prefer green jelly now. Probably yeah, no, well, probably not. No, 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 no. They probably prefer green jello, like even, hardcore more. Even more, yeah. yeah. The, the this green jello is a fucked up band. <laughs> yeah, they are really fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Oh my god, it's too good. The Nugget! Was that a furry drummer? I think I saw a bear hit on the drummer. Probably. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, you know what? Good news about that little douchebag. About who, uh, Justin Bieber? Yeah. He is, he's, uh, not working on it. He made a, made a, uh, thing about how he's not working on music for a while. Thank oh. God. Well, okay, okay. Here's the thing, though. Um, my friend, uh, Mouthy Buddha made a video. Do any of your friends have adult names? No. <laughs> okay. Well, you. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to well, fix we got, that. We're I trying to no, fix that we, and stop. Need, okay, you guys are getting to know Nick. Uh, <laughs> Nick? You guys are getting to know <laughs> wow. Ian. Oh my, I just read yeah. somebody saying Nick. I just read somebody saying Nick, so that's why it's all like all in my head now. Um, is, Twink is Nick. <laughs> Twink <laughs> Bieber is Twink Nick. <laughs> Nink, Nink or Twick. Yeah, there you go. Um, but you guys are getting to know Ian here. Uh, he needs he needs a name. He needs he needs some kind of name. So so bring it. Uh, all right, let's let's finish this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no, but it, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So Mouthy Buddha made a video about Justin Bieber, and I actually kind of started like humanizing Justin Bieber because of it. It's a brilliant video. Why? Because he, he gained fame at a young age and didn't have anybody telling him no, and yeah. so he's so that then, justifies then, him. No, no, so no. Wait, wait. But then, but then so he, that's he, that's he, affluenza. That is the affluenza. No, I, I like, know defense I, right there in I know, a fucking nutshell. I know, I know. But like at the same time, he finds like all this this like footage that most people have never seen of like uh, uh, of Beaver eating a burrito. Well, like okay. So you remember you remember all those those videos of Beaver like attacking paparazzi. I remember the one of him pissing in a mop bucket. Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> but no, so so there was like this this footage of Bieber like attacking paparazzi. Uh, Mouthy found this footage of him talking to multiple times to that very paparazzi, being like, "Look, man, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm I... trying to tell you, like, I, I I get that this is your job. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like, of course there is. You're pushing too hard, etc., etc." Of course et cetera, et cetera. there is. He's it's not a conspiracy. No, no, no. I'm saying no, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> okay, of course okay. that happened beforehand. Sure. Of course it did. Sure. Of course it did. This video is out to make this kid, a, 
you're a douche knuckle, people are going to push the theme of you being a douche knuckle. Yes, that's true. That's and they're true. not going to show the stuff that leads up to you being a douche knuckle because you've already shown that that part doesn't need to exist because half the time it doesn't exist. That's true. That's true. So it's just, it's a feedback loop. That's all that is. It's a feedback well, I mean, he's, loop he's, of, he's... of douche being douche and now we don't have to show what led up to him being a douche. He's still a douchebag. He's no, I mean, I still think he's a douchebag, and he's a pretentious, over overprivileged fucking little cunt. But like, yeah, but I sometimes, still, but I, but sometimes he acts human. like an adult. Yeah, it, it, sometimes you, you can actually sit like a but real human being. Most of the in time, there. he doesn't. All right, all right. Maybe most of the time he does. <clears throat> no, it's all fine. Right. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. It's fine. It's all right. All right, we gotta we gotta finish this. this, is, this I didn't is know the... you were a believer. <laughs> Get up, boys! Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, Larry's like he's Canadian. Enough said. Ooh, burn! <laughs> but Canadians are nice. They apologize for everything. Like I, I always thought it was a joke until I worked there. I don't know how many times I heard "sorry" uh, in it, like a, it, 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 two weeks. I heard "sorry" more times than I'd ever heard it in American television. Let me, let me, uh, how you say? There is uh, some uh, Canadians who are not. Oh, the Quebecois, yeah, they're, uh, they're pretentious dicks. Quite the nice. Uh, how you say? Pepper, maybe <laughs> like to fuck a potato. You don't know who I'm talking about. It's, that's the best part about this, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, sounds Quebecois, so they're probably Canadians fans, so. Uh, yeah. Chin in, chin in. Mouth wants to call you spinach chin, but that's like, that's just forcing it, man. I don't think so. It doesn't look like spinach. It's, it's, it's got too much gray. Spinach isn't gray. Yeah, spinach isn't gray. <laughs> Ball chin in. No, that's a terrible name. <laughs> Call him Ass Face. I, I don't look like Ass Face. No, you don't look like Ass Face. I didn't take a shotgun to my mouth. That's true. Is it Spud Fucker time? Maybe. I don't know. It's like a hair waterfall. Uh, hey. Stop it. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Boys. Get up, boys. Oh, yeah, boys. Get up, boys. Oh, my God. Larry, what the fuck have you done to us again? I swear to God. Come out, Come out, Come out, Come out, Come out Come 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 on. Come I think that was the most active part of this video. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening with it? <laughs> is that pain or is that laughter? Or is it the pain of laughter? Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, uh. This has been this has been a fun midweek. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna drag some people in in just a minute. Um, we got about forty five minutes just to hang out with people. So if you guys are new to the show, uh, go ahead and hit the link in the Discord. Hop into the waiting room. I got about a half an hour. To oh yeah, you're you. fine. When you need to bounce, you bounce, and yeah. I'll, I'll finish up. It's fine. Uh, hop into the waiting room on the Discord, and uh, we're gonna roll in just a second. See who wants to come in and just uh, sh the shit and talk. Um, yeah, did we finish this? No, we didn't. Okay, we gotta officially finish it. Hang on, we have to. It's the rules. Larry fucking kicked down a hundred bucks. We're watching this fucking video. Dude. <laughs> watch it. To completion. All the way we are watching <laughs> to, to completion. completion. Get up, boys. <laughs> we're going to completion. Classy way to. Classy. I swear to God, that one guy, though... Uh, we're, we're, <laughs> Balls on the chin? No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. 
there, there was a very Japanese looking uh, Sepultura looking motherfucker in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe it is the same guy that I was thinking of. Um, I think it's like their bassist or something like that. The guy that's like, rolling around. Yeah, this this fucking dude. This fucking dude is straight up Mongolian. He looks like somebody who would be like riding with Genghis Khan and yeah. fucking destroying villages and shit like that. Like, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. just the way it goes. Mongo- um, Mongolia doesn't exist, Jeff. Didn't you know? Mongolia. <laughs> Mongolia. There's there's a weird theory out there. There's a odd conspiracy theory that Mongolia doesn't exist. I well no there's a there's a I know that there's a conspiracy theory that that Australia. No, oh, there's one that Mongolia doesn't exist too. Why? How? How could <sighs> Mongolia not exist? It's a massive fucking country. It's a it's a huge fucking country. No, none, none of that makes any sense at all. Like I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. That doesn't. That, no, no. Whoever, whoever's saying that is 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 a crazy person. <clears throat> all right. Uh, twelve people in the rating room. Not bad turnout for tonight. You know, even though it's like kind of impromptu. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not Nick. If well, that's a big thing. It, it. It's I mean, Nick's fault. Fa- Nick, it's Nick's fault. Nick is. Hiding from the government. Well, I mean, it's kind of his fault. It's kind of the government's fault. Government. Yeah, if they weren't chasing him, he wouldn't be hiding. That's right. Damn government. Yeah. Bring me back my regular co-host, government. Yeah, and some cheese. It's <laughs> government cheese. <laughs> okay, is it okay? Wait, wait, wait. Before we before we pull somebody in, this is a big question, uh, and I know that you know that you should know the answer to this because you and I we 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 dwell in similar circles. Wait, you and I or them and you? No, you and me. Oh, okay, yeah, but we'd kind of have to sing is how we've known each other for so fucking long. Yeah, we're best friends. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay. okay. Um, it, it, it was it, don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood, the scene where she's melting government cheese with a lighter onto his chest. Was it that one or was it a different parody movie? <laughs> you guys can help too, but like... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was "Don't Be a Menace." No, Addy Monster says yes, like adamantly. <laughs> yeah, no, Addy, Addy is pretty damn sure that 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 is "Don't Be a Menace" to South Central drinking. I mean, you do have the whole of the World Wide Web's in front of you to find out. Nah. Okay. Nah. Well, I, I mean, I just, I just, whenever I need to know something, I don't Google anymore. I just start up a show, and I'm like, <laughs> and Yo. you start up a show, and you say the wrong thing, and within two minutes, you're just you're inundated with you're so wrong this is what it is oh yeah 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 no I'm, it's it's wonderful when that happens followed up with the toe sucking scene <laughs> oh my god oh god oh <laughs> Ooh, i remember that one <laughs> wrong hole asshole <laughs> i got these cheeseburgers man i suck <laughs> your dick i love that movie it's so fucking good <laughs> holy shit oh man it's awesome uh, all right, so we're gonna pull in. In in theory, this is going to work fine. So we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna grab uh, Ionessa. Ionessa, are you there? We'll see if this is gonna work out. I don't know. Hello. I don't see her saying anything. I I hear nothing. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Wrong hole, asshole. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, INS, if you get if you get your stuff fixed up, like message me. Um, all right, I'm gonna roll again. <laughs> wow, that's really funny because I was just thinking about that waffle, waffle, waffle. Fix your shit. Unmute. You oh can't... shit! What? That was sudden. <laughs> yes. Can you hear him okay? Ian? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got awesome. Him. Got him. Nailed Good to it. see you. Good to see How you. How you doing? Too. Where? Where? Okay. So waffle, where have you been? Oh God. Okay. Uh, long version or short version? Uh, throw me. Okay. So, oh geez, where do I start? <laughs> so for the past, <laughs> so for the past three years, uh, I've been working on some research. Shall we say? Oh. Uh, <laughs> shall we say that doesn't sound like legitimate yeah. research to me, but I mean it could be. Waffles' real name? Kind of. Yeah. Uh, Doctor David Banner. Oh, okay. I oh god I hope not. No, it's, and it's it, Bruce Banner. The 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 short version of things is I've been really busy getting that research ready, 
because uh, the 78th Annual Society of Vertebrate Paleontology happened this past October, and I had a spoken presentation at it. So I had Wait. to get my research ready to present. Are you a paleontologist? <laughs> yes. Do you have a badge? <laughs> like, for for what? I'm well, because, badges. like, oh, okay, like, uh, there, Jeff, there's... Paleontologists don't have badges. <clears throat> they're not cops. Well, no, no like, okay, you, you, you remember the, the, like, the comedy routine? I, I, I think it's like I from... I can't hear you for a sec there. What happened? Oh, uh, okay, so, uh, like, have you seen the comedy routine, or maybe it's from a movie, they're like... Everybody stop. It's all right. I'm a I'm a marine biologist. I imagine that paleontologists can do that too. I I mean kind of like I I have things I can wear that sort of like I have like pins and shit that I could wear. They're like I've got one that's like a um like a saber-toothed tiger skull. What what about awesome. oh, That is actually pretty odd. What about like I mean I, I mean I have a tattoo about my research. I've shown you that. What yeah. about a laminate? Um, do you get to wear a laminate that says scientist? I have answers. Oh. I, I don't. I need one, though. Yeah. What, what I mean, about... honestly speaking, within the larger, like, thing of geology, because paleontology is kind of part of geology, um, we all just kind of, if we need to proclaim that we are geologists, we just belt on our rock hammers and walk around. And, I mean, I've got a rock hammer. I've got a beard. You know, I drink relatively often. I resemble yeah. a Tolkien-esque dwarf. That's you know, that's pretty much all you need to prove you're a geologist. That, that sound that sounds that sounds about <laughs> right. Actually, uh, do you do you have one of those like really hard saf to... like safari hats? You know, a pith helmet. It's not I, a pith helmet. I I I need a pith helmet. No, I've got I've got like the discount version of that, which is like the the like sort of nylon ball cap thing with like the bit that covers the back of your neck because my god, sunburns suck. Oh, you're talking like a French but, Foreign Legion hat? Sadly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you're the kind Stylish. of guy who goes around and talks about cleavage, and there's no tits anywhere. Yeah, oh God, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't even know. Like, like. I guess that's geology specific. Problems. Yeah. No, it's not just the cleavage though. Like, yeah, we study cleavage all the time, but like, we drop acid on outcrops. We go streaking all the time, and none of this is wait. as fun as it sounds. Wait, wait, <laughs> it, you, you, wait, wait, like, you, you like, you, tr you drop acid. You drop acid. It's a, no, no, it's a test. Dropping acid on... Uh, yeah, you put acid on rocks to figure out what they are. So it's like you've got geologists who are studying cleavage, dropping acid on outcrops, and going out streaking, and none of that's as fun as it sounds. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right okay, well, anyway, continue, yeah. continue, sorry, continue, sorry. Yeah, so so all of that happened, and uh, I'm also now full-time at my job, which has nothing to do with paleontology. Um, and, well... Uh, glad you paid no, I'm not even going to go there. Right? <laughs> uh, well, well, that's that's the funny thing. That's the other thing I've been doing is like badgering the university about actually doing the paperwork to let me graduate already, because I've been doing all of this as an undergrad. So, um, so you're like, you're like an underpaid Indiana Jones. Sadly, yes. Without a gun. <laughs> without, a gun. No without a gun. Well, well, well. Um, no bullwhip though. No bullwhip. No bullwhip. Actual no, no bullwhip. I'm, I'm. No, I. I I have other things. Fun, yeah. Funny thing, completely unrelated, but I recently ordered some plate armor. Don't worry about it. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. So, All right. So there's so there's that, and then I finished that up, and my god, my like my colleagues just don't know how to put data into a spreadsheet. So I was just like sitting there, like several all nighters, just trying to make their data not look retarded. Um, okay. And this isn't like, hey, we found one animal look at all these pictures we have we have 4400 specimens i think okay yeah so it's like it's over 4000 you know a lot of shit to go through so i spent a lot of time identifying her specimens or like my, my colleague's specimens after i'd already I done all of mine bet you <laughs> have. In the lab. oh yeah you know studying cleavage oh, but uh not so much cleavage specimen. just specimens specimage <laughs> i did try trying to figure out a you know what happened there after it got buried? <laughs> <laughs> That's how well, babies I was, are made. Uh, I was anyway. studying a lot of her specimens after they died, mm -hmm. but <laughs> oh. anyway, uh, so I was doing all that and and getting all that sorted. So just tons and tons of work there, and just being super super busy. Then it's like, all right, we're finally done. Great, it's good. It's like, great. Now we need to publish it. Like, after the event and everything, I'm like, oh shit, damn it, I thought I was done with this. So, now I've got all that to do, among other things and other shit to do, and Destiny has eaten a fair amount of my free time. 
Um, mostly because sometimes I need to relax without talking to anybody, and Destiny's a pretty good way to do that. I suggest um, meth. <clears throat> Just don't uh, ask meth. your doctor if it's real. It, it, I it, am it an amphetamine kind of guy, but meth is not quite my speed. It, <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you did there. Hey. Oh, and my, my, uh, my boss poisoned me a little while ago. That was fun. <laughs> he poisoned your meth? No, she poisoned me by giving me something she that I thought was amphetamines, you. and it was something else. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, so she thought she was giving you amphetamines, but instead she gave you... I thought she was giving me amphetamines. She knew what she was giving me. I threw up in the parking lot before I headed home that night. That was fun. Ipecac. I'm not actually I'm not actually mad at her, but I'll never let her live, live it down. Here, it's not Ipecac, it's amphetamine. <sighs> man, I, you know what? Like, this is opening my eyes, man. You you paleontologists know how to fucking party. What the fuck? Like, oh, dude, no, you, like you don't even rock. know. So I, I will, I will send you a shit. link to a video that you need, like, probably for this stream or something else. Let me go ahead and pull that up. But... I so after uh, the last day of SVP, which you know, Society of Paleontology, all that jazz. The last day, they do the like a banquet where they do awards and all of this jazz, and then they do sort of an after party. I spent uh, a bunch of that after party with a friend of mine from Montana and I, buying each other rounds of drinks and talking about politics. And we were very careful because both of us are a little more right leaning than most of that crowd. Okay. So it was just so we'd be like talking about like the Kavanaugh shit and then get really quiet when someone else walked over. But we're like really drunk, so we're probably not noticing people walk over quite quickly enough. <laughs> it, it got a little bit silly. Bet, uh, but man. then after that, I lost him. Uh, tra traded a, a name tags because that's a thing you do with somebody named Leia. So I got to be a princess for a bit. Right. Uh, that was fun. And then I ended up wandering out, like wandering out of the place, getting high with her and two Australians, and then just wandering around downtown. Dude, with okay. This chick and a couple of Australians, and it was fun as fuck. Okay, so there, there is definitely something about Australians. I'm not sure oh, God, what yeah. exactly it is, but like, it's probably something to do with living on a continent where everything wants to kill you. Yeah, no, I mean, I guess so. I guess so. That 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 makes sense. Um <clears throat> but uh at at the at this Burning Man camp that I was at one year, um these two Australians came in and they just started kind of tearing everything up. And so the guy, he's a good buddy of mine, uh, who runs the bar, he was like, you know, you girls are pretty fucking crazy. Do you want to just bartend mm. for me for the night? And they're like, fuck yeah, we do. And <laughs> my God, these these two girls were just out of fucking control. Absolutely out of control. Like, you have to spin the wheel and do, like, all sorts of crazy shit. And on one of them, this one cute dude comes up, and he, he gets, like, uh, uh, you, gotta, you gotta kiss the bartender on the cheek. And these two chicks are like, oh, hell no, you come here, you fucking lad, and just drag him up onto the bar. And both of them mm -hmm. start making out with him and start pouring liquor in his mouth. And they're like... <laughs> well, back, so back <laughs> when I worked up in the National Park, they, they, what I'd always tell people is there were two kinds of tourists that were my favorite. It was Germans and Australians. Because mm. when Germans show up, they have a plan. Like, they, you don't... They know the answers to all of their questions, but they're only 90% sure, so they have to ask someone who works there anyway. So they show up, they speak reasonably good English, they drop a map, they have a schedule, it's like itemized and shit. They're like, how sure. much of all of this can we do? We have exactly three days, two hours, and eight minutes. You know, and you're like, yeah, that probably works. So they kind of do all the work for you, you nod and smile, they go on their way, they have a good time. Reminds me Australians show up almost universally, um, no shirt, and unless they're chicks, in which case, minimal shirt. Right. Back, backpack, usually a camelback of something, straw hat, probably a shark tooth, necklace or something. And uh, they show up, you know, slam their hands on the desk. They're like, all right, what can we do today? You know, like they're so pumped and they're so excited. I don't have to tell them anything. Like I can, I could be like, this Chelsea is fun. They're like, yeah. You know, they get so excited about everything. When they go on vacation, they go on fucking vacation. Right. They go awesome. ape shit. They go, they go ballistic. Yeah. So, so real quick. It was great. So that, by the way, that video I sent you, uh -huh. I've never seen that movie, right? It's, it's a movie called Wanderlust has Paul Rudd in. I've never seen it. We're oh, walking was, around downtown. It was, it was like, I've heard funny. it's pretty good. It was kind of yeah, funny. So like, yeah. We're, we're like walking around downtown, these two Australians, chick named Leia and me, and we're, you know, just kind of, bullshitting we're all drunk off our asses and uh it's probably like three in the morning and we're just walking around one of the australians just goes i'm gonna put my dick in i'm just like what the oh, fuck yeah and yeah. he's like yeah. and he realizes yeah. so he realizes i haven't seen this so he pulls he pulls out like his phone he's like all right so we've never seen this movie 
and we don't want to because it'll ruin the magic of this scene. So show <laughs> me the exactly scene for the rest of the night. This is. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All four of us are just quoting this fucking scene for the next like, three hours and as, as the edibles kick in. Oh, yeah. Well, Waffle, do you want that to be uh, the link that you're going to show, promote, and put out there, or do you want something else better? That's... Fuck it. That's the link I'm going to show and promote. Well, okay. So are you going to be sticking around the Discord here for a little bit? Um, For a little bit. I got to get out of here in about an hour, though, because... Okay, this is, sorry, I, I'm sorry to take up a little bit more time, but this is another funny thing. Sure, man. Um, every once in a while, I go out and beat people up with glow sticks, because turns out that in my city, there is a, um, there's a few groups, actually, but there's one specifically that I go to that hits each other with lightsabers. You know, those, like, combat-ready lightsabers you see oh, in ads yeah, all over the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. So I have a few of those. That's why I have the plate armor, you see. Well, it Turns okay. out you can hurt people when hitting them with sticks, yeah. but... We have a little governing body of people for that, and it's called the Council. And they recently appointed me to the Council. The but they did not council? grant me the rank of Master. But they did not grant me the rank of Master, which is outrageous and unfair. Oh. Yeah. So all the children need to run away now because, you know, I might just you know, slaughter the younglings and all that. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway. Right. Uh, be because I did just drop a, I dropped a grip of money. We're going to have a, uh, a, a Saints uh, Minecraft server here pretty soon. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, cool. Well, I miss oh, you, buddy. Also, something you'll appreciate, um, being a paleontologist and whatnot, I, mm -hmm. I have seen one of the... I have been to one of the few uh, T-Rex footprints in North America. Nice. New Mexico. Which one? New Mexico? Yeah. Philmont Scout. I've probably been to the same one. I live in New Mexico, so this oh. is... Yeah, yeah, yeah I lived in place. New Mexico for about uh, three months. Yeah. Yeah, that's some, about how long it takes to realize that. that you hate the place and leave. You know what, though? The storms there, the Yankee storms you guys get in the middle of summer, that shit is yeah. intense and amazing. Yeah. Those, yep. those thunderstorms that come through. Yeah, that's my that, probably one of my favorite places I've ever lived. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really, really nice, unless you're in Albuquerque. Yeah, yeah, no, I lived, <laughs> I lived uh, just outside, uh, Cimarroncito, just outside of Taos, I think, was our closest big city. Yeah, I, it's, it's houses, big city, really. That was, it was the closest Sorry. one that anybody knows about. How about that? Have you? Heard I, of I used Palm? to live up north of Taos for a long while. But seriously, anybody listening, if you guys are coming through Albuquerque, let me know. All you right. know, I'll we'll, we'll we'll hang out. It'll be fun. Well, I miss you, Waffle. I miss you too. I'll be I'll be spending more time in the Discord, hopefully, as things level out a bit. I've been in like maybe three times in the past months, so though. That that tells you something. All right, love <laughs> you. Talk to you later. Bye, buddy. Bye. All right. <clears throat> we got to do this. Uh, first, first though, Addy Monster says, y'all slacking on the stream lab just because Nick ain't here. Look at this fine-ass man meet named Ian the Conqueror Concubines. <laughs> Are you not aroused? Give these beautiful mans your money, you stingy fucks. As if you would rather spend it on your family. Fuck. <clears throat> Thank you, Addy. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, Addy's a sweetheart. Addy's great. All right, let's let's check this out, and then we got get uh, INS in here. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen this, this is brilliant. Oh God, this was your idea, George. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. Monogamy is sexual slavery. She got an exquisite pussy. Well, how about my exquisite erection, huh? Eva, what do you think? You like my exquisite exquisite erection? Do do do, do my 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 <laughs> little. little my, uh, do you want the backstory? Have you seen the movie? I've seen the movie. So do you yeah. want to give the backstory <clears throat> to why he's doing this, or uh, just let it go? Just let it go in its in its glory. Because they're they're like about to to like get experimental. Yeah, and, yeah. they're and about, do some they're about to go like this. They're, they're gonna... about to go from this to that. Right, right, right. Hmm. Do you like my erection selection? <laughs> hmm? What do you think, hmm? Eva? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. You gonna take it? You gonna take that dip? No. You gonna take that dick? Huh? I'm gonna pop off a piece of my dick. Oh yeah, I'm fixin's to fuck you. <laughs> Hang on, to fuck you. Hang on. <clears throat> Drink break. Hey, hey. <sighs> I'm fuck you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it all up in your vag. In your vag. Get it up in your vag with my dick. With my dick. <laughs> gonna put it in with my dick. I'm gonna put my dick in. <laughs> I'm gonna put my dick in. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know there's yeah, outtakes he's... of this at the end of the movie too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and they're even they're better. They're, they're even better than the actual they're, scene. They're incredible. They're absolutely incredible. <laughs> I'm gonna put my dick in. <laughs> uh, cats and lady, and also I saw Pris as well. Just using some extra biddies. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Very, very sweet. All right, uh, let's get INS in here. Let's see what she's got her shit going on. What's up, INS? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, sweet. Were you watching that Paul Rudd clip? I was. I was laughing. It's like, oh my god. Well, let, let, let's get down to brass tacks. You're a woman. <laughs> would, Last time I checked, would uh, would 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 any of those lines work on you? I not for the first time, but if Aru came in and started, re you know, repeating that, I think I'd get a good laugh out of. What if it were Paul Rudd? He, he he's not horrible looking. Um, <laughs> oh no. He's not bad. bad oh, not. no, Larry. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Ines. Just give me one quick second. Uh, Jable says, Addy scares me. Here's some money. Thank you very much, <laughs> Jable. You know what, Addy? You are a gem. You keep scaring <laughs> people. Keep it up. Yeah, get, get proud of you. Larry Kubiak, 50 bones. Okay, daddy's drive to this one, but here's no reason Jeff's liver should be. So get that blue skull and share your guest, please. Much Moonju love. Can you handle a shot? Uh, well, I'm gonna I'll have to. I know. I, I know what you're talking about. It's yeah, it's that I, lavender vodka. So I, I, I. Oh, I know. I know. In fact, your wife wouldn't let me drink that last time I was over. But that's right. I was over that's in a bad right. place. So. That's right. That's right. So I and you you uh you you been watching a little bit because I, I still got to go pick up my wife from work. I know. I know. I got to leave here in about ten minutes. Yeah. A small amount of your lovely nasty shit. I and you uh have you have you experienced us uh um partaking of this lavender vodka i have not i can't wait to watch oh it's so gross so i, I don't know if you recall jeff there oh, was it smells so bad smell it and tell me what it smells uh, no like. no um there was a radio <laughs> show i already smelled it it's it smells like <clears throat> it smells like a just really yeah actually it kind of smells like a, a bad fruit loop it does smell like a bad fruit loop. Uh, but there was a there was a radio show here years ago called the Donkey Show. Yep, I remember the Donkey Show. Do you remember they had a thing called Donkeyla? They'd take Donkeyla shots, which was basically a whole shit ton of. It was basically a King's Cup, just a, a cup full of nasty ass alcohol. Just all everything together. all mixed in together. I, I yeah. went there one time. I called him up on my way home from work. It was my birthday. I said, hey, it's my birthday. I want to come in and take a Donkeyla shot. I'm on my way over. They're like, yeah, come on in. Come on up to the studio. Fuck yeah. Hung out with him in the studio, took a shot of Donkeyla. That shit was the worst drink I've ever had. So this is probably not going to be the worst. So while we take this, INS, what's the worst drink you've ever had in your life? Mm, you know, I... I, I, I hate to put um, Aru's, um, no, his co-worker makes apple pie moonshine like mine, and we traded bottles, and I don't know what the fuck she did, but hers is gnarly. Yeah, what? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> sells that? Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 wow! What is, what is I it? get the sound and then I get the video. I, it I is think, beautiful. I think I, I, here's here's what I get out of that, Jeff. Yeah, I just licked a random stranger at the uh, at the the Saturday um, market. No, no, at, worse than Saturday market at um, um, ah! country fair. I just licked oh! a random country fair stranger. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. That is horrid. So well, that is hor who the fuck came up with that? I don't know. It's fucking gross. What brand so, is that? What what I, I don't remember either. What so I uh, huh. I uh, oh I asked, <laughs> what, what was what, what was the problem with their 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 uh, uh their moonshine their apple moonshine? I have no clue, and and that's the scary thing is mine is like a nice amber color, and hers was really dark. It just, oh god, it tasted bad. I, I don't know what the hell she did with. Uh, I don't know. That's that's just crazy. 
this stuff is like uh <clears throat> I have you met a lot of hippies, Vanessa? <laughs> I live in Olympia. Oh yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right, always. that's right. Yeah, no, you've definitely met a lot of hippies. So you know how like, <gasps> uh, so you know how uh, some some hippie ladies and some hippie men, but mostly hippie ladies, will try and cover up their stank by using essential oils. Oh, you you need the patchouli, patchouli baths. Yeah, p- Pat- traditionally patchouli. patchouli, but you occasionally get those lavenders. Lavender or amber. A lot of people oh, like yeah. to use amber as well. Or, this... or what's the the Egyptian one? What is the Egyptian one? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, oh, sunflower. So, oh, yeah. The sunflower, too. Yeah, something like that. This is kind of like if you licked one of their armpits. Oh, dear God. Oh, so fucking nasty, dude. It's so bad. Yeah, not good. Yeah. Not no. good. No, it's, 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 it's gnarly. Uh, some people want me to go back to the, to the Spiritus of Bigniev. Uh, this stuff, as nasty as this stuff is, it is at least not destroying my insides. So that's that's actually kind of a blessing. But it, oh, it tastes worse. It's not giving you waterfalls, Jeff. Yeah. How are you cleaning yourself? No, I'm not having waterfalls. Trust, I drink enough whiskey. I have waterfalls okay. all the time. Right? Thank you okay, you gotta you gotta cleanse out the metachlorians or whatever the fuck. <laughs> the metachlorians. So, uh, <laughs> what, what do you what do you what do you got going on lately, Ionessa? Well, I was ranting earlier today about the Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving epic um, drama that I'm dealing with right now. Oh, oh my God! Okay, no, 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 hang on, <clears throat> because I love drama. Fill me in on, <laughs> fill me in on your uh, on your Thanksgiving drama. Okay, so to start off, my mom and my dad are divorced, been separated for ten years. Um, dad just now got back into my life and dad has undiagnosed we we figure it's narcissistic um, personality disorder either that or he's just a gigantic asshole oh so every year for as long as I remember including this year um, there's plans for like a big holiday get together and then once he realizes that the holiday is not about him, he does something to destroy the holiday. And either A, makes my mom or someone else come out as the, the villain. And it, it, he just tried so hard, but I'm so sorry. You know, I just, I just couldn't stop her. She threw everything away kind of thing. Or he'll make himself out as the hero. You know, he'll jump in at the last second and solve all the problems. Oh, I hate people like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So this year, um, we were going to have it at him and his girlfriend's house. Um, my My mom and my dad's girlfriend met probably a month ago. And I guess he thought that there was going to be, like, some epic cat fighting again about for him you know right you can't have him i want him kind of bullshit oh no oh no no no. mom and debbie are best friends i mean they mom shows up at debbie debbie's house his um girlfriends and you know the two of them are thick as thieves so he's kind of upset okay no I, i can i can totally see that i can totally see that so yesterday dad throws a goes and basically throws a temper tantrum and gets Debbie to cancel Thanksgiving. Right. Then he calls my sister whining about how Debbie is such a horrible person and now we can't have Thanksgiving. So the two of them hatch a plan that why don't we have it over at Io's house? Oh no. So the way they're volunteering it to be at your house. And I just moved. Ugh. Like we're still live, I, I I'm missing half my kitchen still. Okay. Damn. Yeah, that's bullshit. So, no, no, no. It gets better. It gets better. Okay. Dad calls me up and tells me the great idea. We're having it at your house, Io, because your sister's oven doesn't work. And to make it even better, I'm coming over and I'm cooking it for you. Well, that's not bad. If they're going to offer to cook it for you, that that actually is kind of doable. No, no. The big thing is you got to no. have somebody offer to clean up for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but 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 see, like I said, it, it it's this is it's getting better. It's just building up. Right. So we're missing half of our kitchen. We do not have a hand mixer. We have one pie pan. We have two pots and two skillets. Right. 
And yeah, so all this happens. Then my my mom and Debbie start talking, and Debbie mentioned that my dad is basically trying to hook back up with my mom. And that's what this whole thing is about, is to impress my mom to hook back with her. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, no, no, okay, this is, this is pretty, this is pretty spicy. This is honestly kind of spicy. It it gets better, it gets better. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Mom hears that and decides she wants to leave tomorrow, so she's not going to be here for Thanksgiving. So, mom is going to Debbie's house. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't fucking blame her either. Shit. Either. My, my mom is having Thanksgiving dinner with my dad's girlfriend while right. my dad is at my house cooking dinner for the rest of the family. Right. What? Did, did, did you just, did you just catch that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, what the fuck? I just, I, okay, that, I don't, I, I, I'm at a bit of a loss, actually, (laughs) honestly, I do not envy, so you you guys are doing, like, the proper Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, though, so all this is, like, a ramp up to everything blowing up tomorrow? Well, see, the thing is, is, the way it's planned, if it goes off without a hitch, which it probably won't, is my dad and my sister will not know that my mom is at my dad's girlfriend's house. Because right. we're telling them that my mom's at work. But I'm I'm cooking a turkey now for mom to take to Debbie's house for Debbie, mom, and Debbie's Stop kids to have a Thanksgiving dinner. Because okay. mom doesn't want to be here with dad. Okay, wow. so well, okay, so what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Hey, you know what? Oh yeah, My yeah. Thanksgiving just got a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> yeah. A whole lot easier to deal with. Yeah, a lot less stress on that and, one. And actually, I, I, I do got a boogie here, probably at the end of the story. So. Um, oh, oh, okay, but just real quick, before Ian's got a bolt, um, what, what do you think's gonna happen tomorrow? Well, hopefully tomorrow, um, Debbie says she's gonna call when Dad leaves her house to get here. So when we get that call, we're bun- I'm t- giving Aru a list of stuff to shop for, and sending my mom and the turkey with him. Right. So I'm hoping that they'll pass, and Dad won't have to go back for anything because Mom will be over at Debbie's house. Dad will be over here, and I just pray that we can switch him back before anyone notices. Yeah, dude. No, for real. That's wild. That's some wild stuff. All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll since you're the guest uh, with us right now, Inessa, uh, if you want to say bye to uh, to Ian here. <laughs> bye, Ian. I hope you have a good holiday. Uh, well, honestly, I really, um, at this point, I, I have no reason not to. I, I can't compete with that. So yeah. So true. I comparatively. I, I mean, short of the turkey being exploded, I, I think I'm. Uh, <laughs> Exploded or exploited, either way. I, I think a... I think I'm gonna have a pretty pretty decent Thanksgiving. Yeah, no. I well, just... well uh, Ian, if you want to be a part of all the drama and crazy, I am getting married next September to wow. another member of the Saints crew, to one of the guys in the Discord. That's true. And there is an open invitation to anyone who wants to come to the wedding. They're welcome to. Well, it, it will really honestly depend on my crazy heavy travel schedule and everything else. But if I, I can mean, drag them with me, I'll if, drag them If I with can me. make it work, you know, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to show, promote, put out there, Ionessa, before, uh, before we move on? Nah, I think I'm good, but thank you. All right. Love you, darling. We'll talk to you soon, all right? <laughs> yep. Best of luck. <laughs> Happy Turkey oh. Day. I'll I'll keep the Discord posted on what goes on tomorrow. Excellent. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do one more one more person, but just everybody like let's get some pinkies up, some thank yous or some some f to pay respects uh, for for Ian's inaugural uh, appearance here. <laughs> uh, honey, reasons. you you moved yourself to VC one instead I? of moving. Oh Hi. shit! Hey, <laughs> hey, I did. Ah, oh, look at that. I am a I am a genius. Uh, 
So, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You did, you did a great job. Did a great job. Standing ovation. Stand, we, we can, we can actually stand. We can stand over here. Uh, fuck off. What did you do? Standing ovation. Woo. Here, Thank give me you. a hug. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna get back here. We're gonna do man hugs. Oh yeah. yeah. <clears throat> man <throat> hugs. Uh, it's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for having it. me on your show. Well, Thank for you sure. for all the, uh, the people, on the internet. The pebbles, the various pebbles, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm sure I'll come back at some point. Oh, no, um, I, I mean, let me know what happens with Nick. You know, hopefully he can get away from the feds. Uh, it, yeah, if Nick's on the lam again, you know, like, you might have to fill in. So your next show's, what, a weekend show? Uh, Friday. Friday? Well, I'll, I'll be around Friday. We'll see. We'll see. Well, if you don't see Nick, you might see me. But, yeah, you'll see Nick. <laughs> All right. Later, man. Good night. Good night, everyone. <clears throat> Uh, All right, let me know if they come up with a name that's not, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, still gotta, we still gotta come up. A, a, a not, uh, not spinach beard. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Not, not a good name that's not spinach beard. Um, let's see. We got Eddie Monster. Uh, Pinky's up for Ian, the man with no name. I know his name is Ian, but we failed to name him, so he's nameless. Please donate to give Ian a name. Pinky's up for turkey tomorrow. Uh, Larry Kubiak with some, with some biddies. Thank you very much. A lot of biddies, actually. Cats and Lady with some biddies. Thank you very much. Nah, he's a great dude. <clears throat> Tell you what. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lambast you guys just a little bit here, uh, right before I get one more guest on. One more guest on, uh, before we're done for the night. Uh, that man. That man is, uh, the number one person that has saved me, uh, throughout my darkest times in the shittiest moments of my life <clears throat> him and his wonderful wife are extremely good friends of mine and in all the ways that i might have failed throughout life uh being the crazy fucked up self-destructive person that i i was for a very long time uh when i fell him and his wife were the two people who always picked me up so i love that man he's a good fucking man Genuinely good fucking person. And it's rare these days to actually find a good fucking person. Uh, hey, Nick's in the chat. What's up, Nick? So we only got one more one more guest that we're going to have on. I'm going to roll here in just a second. Uh, hang out with them for just a few minutes. And then uh, I am I have a mission for the rest of you. And this mission is actually very important. And I'll fill you in in just a second but first we're gonna get one more person in we got nine people in the waiting room do, 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 do. let's uh let's switch over to here uh nine people in the waiting room let's punch in the number nine generate shit okay one uh and we're gonna get in monsieur bar monsieur bar hey hey, hey, hey everybody and welcome back Always a pleasure to be here, Jeff. Yeah. It's just me, no Nick, just you and me. We can actually we can finally be intimate, Bar. We don't have to have any, any weird New Englander trying to, like, fuck up our conversation. Oh, my. <laughs> Romance across the ocean. Oh, I know, I know, absolutely. You know, when I found out that you were a foreigner, it just blew my fucking mind. I know, right? You can barely tell. How's that going, by the way? Being a foreigner still hasn't changed, but I'll look into it. No, no, that's fair. That's totally fair. So, okay, so we we do Thanksgiving over here in the States, uh, and, and we have, like, a loose kind of mythology surrounding what we think Thanksgiving is supposed to be about, but it's really not. Um, mm. You're... Wait, shit. Are you, are you a Spaniard? What the fuck did you just say? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. No, Portuguese. I am Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh shit! No, that is probably pretty insulting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I I forgot. The Spaniards no, and, and the Portuguese. I, I'm not having like it up. We're we're more like you know brethren. That's yeah, you're fine. Like, you're such. like you're like kissing cousins. It's fine. It's fine. Mm, yeah, I mean, except the inbreeding is more towards the Spanish side. <laughs> okay, but so so in 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 Portugal. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so the ba the the basic idea behind Thanksgiving is just a, an excuse to be with family, and to eat a shit ton of food. Is there anything like that as a holiday in Portugal? Yes, actually, 
that would be Easter on the mainland. Okay. And Christmas here on the island. Really? Yeah. Christmas for us is the definitive time for a family getting together. I mean, the big family being there and all that. But on mainland, it becomes, I don't know, for the mainlanders, it becomes Easter when the families really get together for that one dinner. Okay. Actually, lunch, Easter lunch for them. Right, right, right. Okay. More so. It's been my experience anyway. So, um, is is Portugal, or at least the part the the island that you're on, is it more secular? Is it more like a a, a Christian uh, kind of atmosphere? I would say that we are still heavily immersed in Catholicism, okay. but we are not so. I don't want to say militant. Oh, yeah. No. But or maybe not so engaged as say across the ocean there. What so, I have seen, like there's a bit of tension between the atheists and the religious people in terms of the contention and whatnot. Well, I'd imagine. The America side, whereas here we're taking a more uh, casual approach in which the Catholics would look at the atheists and go, oh, you know, he's just a non-practicing Christian. He'll get around, even if it's on deathbed. Right, right, right. We'll yeah. get him eventually. <laughs> Wait until he has terminal cancer and then uh, yeah. we're going to get that. He's fear God. for his life and desperate. Yeah, we'll put yeah. some religion into that boy. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that's fair. Because um, <clears throat> yeah, like it's it's a weird thing to go uh, in the in, in the states. It's it's a really strange thing. Uh, some people are like super into holidays or super into like the religiosity of holidays, that sort of thing. And then some people just make kind of a big deal of it. And I'm always really interested when I'm talking with somebody who has a very distinctly dis- like wildly different perspective on it. Uh, so like your, your, your Christmas, obviously it's a, it's a a Christian holiday, not its roots, of course, but you know, obviously it's a Christian holiday. Uh, but you and your family, is there like a lot of religiosity surrounding like when you guys celebrate Christmas or is it more like a family focused kind of thing? The two intermingle, Jeff. Yeah. You have to remember Christmas here on the island becomes it's not just called a celebration. It's referred to as the celebration. Oh, really? it starts almost like from the beginning of the, um, of the month of December. Okay. With little things and the preparation of homebrew liquors, uh, pastries, cakes, oh, 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 oh. you're talking about anticipation. but then there is like a whole ritual of attending, um, what we would call Mrs. do Parto, which would be like, um, birth masses there's supposed to be like nine of them each one for the month which the the virgin mary has um you know carrying the the kid in the womb and, and all that shit. oh yeah so yeah, yeah, which yeah. would people will get will get up like incredibly early or ungodly late depending on your perspective to go to church and that would be like a gathering point among the people and that has almost like it's the only one that's the, the, like the Christmas mass itself is the one that's really survived. Okay. In okay. itself, there is also like an old tradition that was like um, the Market's Eve, the oldest city here on the island, because you know people are gonna just gather among themselves for Christmas. So that would have been you know, uh, up to a couple of decades ago, the last opportunity to buy the goods that you would need. Before basically not going over anywhere else right, for at least those right. couple of days, and people made a big fuss of showing up for that market night. <clears throat> okay. get, these days, it's mostly an excuse, you know, to gather, drink in stalls, socialize. It's become a lot more commercial as these things become everywhere else. Well, I have a really good question too on top of this, but r- real quick, uh, because mm-hmm. uh, one one Canuck was was worried that he sent a streamlabs to the to the wrong show, and he, he and he did. Uh, <laughs> uh, he says, "Good job, Jeff. Double wins or not? I was worried you'd tie a shit knot. Nah, man. Nah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I absolutely do. Uh, so one of my one of my favorite things about the holiday season, and I've really started to embrace this because of a friend of mine. And I'm wondering if there's any kind of analog to this when it comes to uh, say like you and your and your and your Portuguese family and that sort of thing. Um, my Finnish family." My Finnish side of my family, and this also extends to to places like Denmark as well. Do you guys have anything like gloggy? 
I don't think I even know what that is. Okay. Well, let me let Enlighten me. me, Jeff. Let me let me red pill you, my dude. Uh, <laughs> Gloggy. <clears throat> Gloggy is uh, mulled red wine. It's a hot red wine with spices, cloves, um, and rum. It's like a hot wine, maybe some fruit, clove, and rum. Do you guys have anything like that on the like a like a like a like a Christmas warmer? I mean, there's plenty of alcohol consumed, but there's not like a specific specific cocktail. No. Okay. Okay. Because because like some people, the the thing is like a lot of people across across the world. When things get cold, they, they do things like, uh, yeah, we'll have some hot cocoa by the fire with the family, or we'll have some hot apple cider with the family by the fire. And then you get into, like, Scandinavian, it's like, yeah, we're going to have some hot mulled wine and rum by the fire. And, and like, I, I find that stuff really fascinating. It tastes like, it tastes like, it tastes like a dumpster. It really honestly does. But it's really good. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's great. No, no, no. Don't apologize. It, it, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Like, you it's take like a after a while, you just don't care anymore. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of like that. But like, you you take a sip and you're like, oh, this tastes like a fucking trash can. Take another sip. Yeah, I know it tastes like a trash can. Take five more sips. God, why am I drinking this trash can? Mm-hmm. And like ten more sips later, you also you're like, have to remember. Um, at least here on the island, our climate tends to be far more temperate oh i know yeah 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 so yeah. it's not like real real win- winter weather except right. maybe like uh, right up in the mountains yeah you're you're so, med you're mediterranean so like it, yeah it's... basically 500 miles off the coast of morocco so yeah no you're you're definitely not going to be you're not going to be experiencing like the the full brunt of like a christmas or or winter like yeah. climate or anything like that i feel you okay Ah, it's 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 interesting though. It's it's wild. I think um, it's a, it's a fun it's a fun exercise to like uh, find find the ways that people kind of kind of have similar similar cultural uh, appreciations for each other, you know. <clears throat> but uh, oh, absolutely, I, I am I'm still I'm still curious though. So for you, for you specifically, hmm. if there's not anything necessarily culturally. Uh, like in your family or in your culture that you guys drink, but like for you, what's what's your drink of choice when it comes to Christmas time? Well, I very rarely touch alcohol, Jeff. Yeah, but I will say, however, that I associated them again, like with the, the homebrew liquors we tend to do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember, like in um, past Christmas and all that, when I was but a young man. <laughs> <laughs> But a young man. Uh, I mean, you. I held nothing back. Admirable. It's foolish. <laughs> <laughs> For you. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean the the tangerine liquors and all that. Like you know, the adults all you know, gathered around talking, and, and the kids would always try and swap a glass or two. Did you say whatever tan- was left? Did you say tangerine liquors? Yeah. Oh, that sounds so good. They can be. Oh. Or, you know, you might end up with something more like in a, a fruity death shot, oh, depending wow. on who's been throwing them. You know, wow. mileage varies. Yeah, no, yeah, that's fair. But, like, I don't know, man. I love tangerines. Like, the this, you, you got me sold right now. Like, I got this romanticized idea. I'm sure it's not accurate at all, but, like, you know, because it, 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 truth is usually not as awesome as fiction, but, like, I got this beautiful idea in my mind. Like sitting off, uh, you know, a few a few miles off the coast of Morocco, you're on this beautiful island. You're drinking this like tangerine infused fucking liquor, uh, just parting up with like the local the local family. Somebody like took you in and adopted you and shit. It just sounds fucking awesome, man. It sounds amazing. Hey man, it was good. Well, I mean, come to like your you island, said, man. Like we had to. Hey, if you ever come over here, I'll try and find a place for you. Fuck yeah. Dab, dab, oh my god. Jesus Christ. I, I can think of like a billion things that sound worse than like, ah, you know, I'm just going to go for a week and uh, I'm going to head on over to the other side of the world. I'm going to go hang out in a Mediterranean island, you know? Hey, dude, depending on when you come, uh, my best friend's actually like a, a trained tour guide. 
Yeah. So he's the right guy to hook you up in terms of getting you to see the island. Okay. Okay. There's yeah. a lot of pretty stuff here. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds really good to me. Anything you want to show, promote, put out there into the world, though, buddy? Not right, not right now, buddy. All but right. you know. Well, we're having a turkey day tomorrow, uh, but I hope you have a turkey day every day for the rest of your life. Hey, thank you so much. You and your family, <laughs> enjoy yourselves. <clears throat> Celebrate that one day you didn't beat the shit out of the natives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Bar. We'll talk to you later. All right, buddy? Love you too, buddy. Uh, cool. Peace out. Oh, man. That's wonderful. Addy Monster says, Not much, but wanted to show my appreciation for Ian. I'm only alive because of the kindness of friends. Never discount the importance of the bridges you build. They'll not only pick you up off the floor, they will elevate you. And that's true. That's 100% true. And that's that's some, that's some straight-up fucking facts there, man. That's some absolute straight-up facts. He just texted me. He's like, Dude, I had so much fun. We got to do it again. And he will show up again. I'll, I'll, I'll do something again soon with Ian. Um, but everybody who, who popped in, Wafflethorpe, Ionessa, Bar, you guys are fucking great. Uh, you, everybody here in the Saints fam, you guys are absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, so <clears throat> I have a mission for you guys if you choose to accept it. Um, so let me find this link real fast. Do, 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 do. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? All right. Is this it? You'll be back. Go ahead, man. Yep. Okay. Hang up and come back. Everybody out. All right. So check this out. Check this out. Right now, right now, guys, there's a Thanksgiving special happening right now. So this show is about to uh, end. Hi, you're hey, back. Hey. There we go. Okay, everything's working. Yeah, yeah. isn't that great? People can leave and come back. And, like, what literally nothing else gets fucked up. All right, so right now there is a Thanksgiving special happening over on the Ben Pie channel. On the Ben Pie channel. I'm going to put this out here, right here, in the chat right now. Ben Pie channel. Ben Pie channel. What I want you guys to do is as soon as I kill this stream and I start going to the hold music, I want you to go over to the Ben Pie channel. I want you to show Ben some love. Ben's gone through a bunch of hard shit these days lately. A lot of hard shit. He's been having a rough fucking time. And uh, I, I I'd like to see I'd like to see see Ben feeling better, especially because uh, with Thanksgiving coming up, uh, Ben doesn't doesn't have he lives in Seattle. His family is not in Seattle, so he's just doing a show, trying to have a good time, entertain some people. So go check out Ben. Uh, go hang out with him. He's a good buddy of the show. He's a good buddy of mine. Good buddy of Nick's. Go and join Ben. It's going to be fucking great. <clears throat> Me and Nick are going to work on what we're going to be doing for a show tomorrow. We'll let you guys know as soon as we got this all figured out. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, for everybody. I love you. Uh, and Nick uh, had a bunch of stuff happen like all of a sudden and couldn't make the show. But we still had a really good time. Uh, Ian, my buddy Ian, we still haven't got a good name for him yet. If you got a good name for him, like hit me up on Twitter. Tell me what's a good name for Ian. Um, but otherwise, yeah, me and Nick, the Saints, we will be back soon, 100%. It's gonna be fucking amazing. It'll be bigly. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. It'll be out of control. You don't even know how bigly it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna have a great fucking time. <clears throat> you guys are incredible. You're the best fucking audience on YouTube or Twitch. Praise Bezos. Bezos be his name. <laughs> Just stalling for time for a second while I grab this. And here we go. The outro song. Everybody love you. Go watch Ben Pie. Go watch Ben Pie. Spamming it one more time in the chat. Go watch his shit. I love you. Bye-bye.